show you how to pipe a Christmas poncita or poncetta. First of all we're going to use a 56366 which is a very large bird's beak as you can see. It's a leaf tip and then the uh, another leaf tip which is the 352 which is a smaller version of the 366. And then another 352, which is that leaf tip, and a number two, which is a small round nozzle. The colours I've used is Sugar Flare Red Extra, Sugar Flare Gooseberry. Now I'm going to be using um, a little bit of the Pro Gel Yellow. Uh, I'll show you that towards the end. So first of all, we take our frozen cupcake and we flat ice it. So take a nice big dollop of your buttercream, smooth the top. It's all nice and smooth. And just flat ice. Flat ice across. A nice smooth surface. There we go. So it's all covered. I'm just picking up a bit of it. trouble with, with red butter cream, it gets it everywhere. And um, it also it dies all your fingers as you can see. I always have a damp J cloth to hand. Um, obviously, I use a nice clean J cloth, uh, throwaways, or you can use um, wipes, anything like that. I've also got a round circle cutter. I'm going to put that in the centre and just press it in. It's just to give me a guide where I want to put my. I mean, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but it helps. I'm going to take a cocktail stick because I want five pestles evenly around there. So we're going to pipe one perhaps here. There. 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 And there. So it gives you a guide where your petals go. Okay. Now we'll take our 366. You want it so the piping tip is facing so the point's upward, not like that, or like that. Now we're going to start on one of these lines that I've just done where the guide is. Start here and push as much as you can out so you get a nice strong leaf if you like. And then we're going to go on to the next one. Do the same. Push. So you get a nice build up and pull out. The same again here. Push till you get a nice build up and then pull out. Push till you get a nice build up at the bottom and pull out. Oh, it's probably going to flop a little bit. Don't worry about that. And then push and pull out. So there's your five petals. Stop and tighten your bag and wipe the end of your tip. Well, in between these gaps, we're going to come in to about here. But we're going to put, try and bring these petals up slightly, up more, not that way, a bit upwards. So we're going to go up again, a nice squeeze at the bottom. And I squeeze at the bottom. Oh, nice squeeze at the bottom. In all the gaps. So 
looks like that. I'm going to stop and type our bag. I'm just going to pipe some small ones but not as much pressure. So, up, 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 in those little gaps. Have you noticed with Ponsetta, their petals or leaves? smaller if it gets to the middle. Now we're going to take our 352 and 366 and just do some little tiny ones in those gaps here but more upwards. Just one there. So you've got some tiny tiny little Just make sure the, the, the small round nozzle, which is this one, as you can see. And we're going to put some stamens in the centre or pistols, but um, we want them to be quite thick, so squeeze really hard. It doesn't appear to be coming out because it's just a tiny little bit cold at the moment. So I always have a glass of water on and glass of hot water, just tip, tip your pipe and tip into it. Give it a wipe and it should actually come out. So, in the centre, we want to build up and bring some quite fat little um, stones or stalks. I'm trying to do it that way, trying to get it at the best angle so that you can see. So into the centre and pull up. Pull up. I want about six of these. I don't actually need actually need a few more than six. Okay, so you've got like some little stalks in the centre. Then we're going to take our um, the sugar layer red extra paste and our yellow. First of all, we'll get we'll take our yellow one. This is Pro Gel Yellow. I'm going to put a bit of the, the, the Pro Gel Yellow. And just dab it on the top of these little. It's just to give it a little detail. And so there's a little centre stone. I don't know if you've obviously much seen pictures of Monsetius or Ponsetus. There we go, we've got some nice little yellow blobs now on top of the I'm actually going to put my stain in there. So when you put the stain in if you can squeeze quite hard to get quite a fat stain in. There we go. So we've got another one. And I might pop another one there. Oh, that's it. I'm going to take our yellow again. Put some little yellow blobs on there. Just a tiny amount, you don't have to go crazy. That's it. There we go. 
I'm going to have to take our sugar flower red extra and do the same. Dip it into the red and just touch the top of the yellow now with a little bit of the, the red. Like so. So you've got, now you've got red on top of the little red dots on top of the yellow dots. Now we're going to take our 352 leaf tip with the green, the one like again with the bird's beak, and we're going to put some in these gaps here where we've, it's quite empty. We're going to put some leaves. So you want it so they're pointing up, it's pointing up, and then you're going to go. You don't want them to overtake you. Have to try and lift that up a little bit. You've got some green foliage in there. empty gaps really, whichever way you want to. Stop and pipe, tighten the back, that's quite crucial to help with the flow of the buttercream. And there you go. That's my version of a Ponzi Christmas Poncietta. Thank you for watching.